Hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you a story about Sarah. So she's a help desk worker. So this is the phase when she first started joining a company. She's happy, you know, looking forward to her job. But then slowly when she first started working about it, and then this is kind of what her desk looks like, you know. It's piled with works, full of documents. I'm sure a lot of you can relate as well. And, you know, as things just starting to pile up, Sarah gets started to get stressed, you know, there's things coming out, customers coming in, you no know, customer complaints. That's the last thing, last straw of it angry customer calling, you know, not being helpful, not being thoughtful. It's like, why is it so late? Why is it has been pending for two weeks? So why do I tell you the story about Sarah? So I'm sure a lot of you can relate when it comes to juggling tasks, especially if you're coming from help desk team. So if you can relate with Sarah and you're someone that doesn't have a system to help you to manage your works, today's this tutorial is for you. So this is a customer issue log that I created a notion. I was actually initially inspired by a post on Reddit. So it's actually a very simple uh, log to track your issues, but then it's a very effective one. So on the left side here, we have something called a dashboard. So basically, just to just kind of track your pending tasks, you know, you see how many has not been started, how many has been pending, how many has been resolved. So just the overview of it. And then the crux of it is just using this table you have here. So we have the ID, we have the customers, we have the issue, we have the comments, we have the status and priority and dates. So it's simple enough. So the idea is just that every time you create a new ID, so basically create a new ticket, so you can assign a new customer, maybe I'll call this customer D, and then issues with, I'm not sure, uh, unable to log into company account, maybe that's the uh, issues. And then maybe here the comments is just a follow up, so try to call customer, but they don't pick up. So by this point, you can just put this in pending. And then the priority maybe is medium. So you can see as I adjust it as well, you just uh, sort out based on the priority as well. And then here, automatically you'll fill in the date for you. This is where uh, you have this uh, default templates here to help you to sort it out. And basically that's it though. Once you're done, if I'm done with this, let's say I've sorted out, just resolve, you just disappear and then it appears in completed. So it's a very simple system to help you to manage and juggle between your tasks. Of course, there are things that you can add on as well as you work on this system, but definitely a very good start to help Sarah to kind of figure out how to get herself organized. So how can you actually create this database? So I wouldn't go through uh, each of them, but I'll kind of line just to show you what is in this property, right? So basically, this is just a database property. What I have is uh, the ID customers. So these are just select, let me kind of see, select uh, issues. So the only difference is probably a bit more difficult is actually the dashboard. So how it's actually working right now is that, let me just kind of show the properties. So I have a dashboard here, right? So you can see this is all linked to this database here. So if you're new to Notion, there's a function called uh, relation rollup. So basically if you go to here and it's like relation, this is where you can actually connect two database together. In this case, I'm connecting dashboard database and then with a the customer issue log database. So why am I doing this, right? It's because Notion compared to like Excel, you don't have like a VLOOKUP, mm, yeah, VLOOKUP summary functions uh, directly. Of course, it's able to achieve something similar, but not uh, how you would expect in Excel. So in this case, when we log in, link it to here, right? What I'm able to do is that if I just go inside here, the dashboard, I can just show you what's inside. So basically there's nothing here, like basically this issue log, this is basically the relation that we have connected to here. And then we have uh, this status here. So what is this status, right? So this is actually a formula. So if you click inside here, right? So it's a bit complicated, but I'll kind of try to ex I'll try my best to kind of explain to you. Um, and I also, I do have like a beginner's uh, formula course for Notion 2.0 that I'll link in the videos below as well. So just kind of look at this formula, right? So basically what we're currently displaying is that we have not started seven, pending four, resolve two. So we kind of want to see what's the status, right? just to kind of show you a scan. So if I update this to resolve, you can see this turn from two into three. So two become three. So that's it. So in terms of formula, so let me just go through here. So we have something called let's. So basically what let's means is that, I'm not sure can you see this, let's. So let's is basically the uh, notions versions of variables. So if you have tried programming before, basically variables when you type in something like a, how do you call it, like a placeholder name, and you put a set of values inside it. So very common variables tools like when you write very, very long codes, 
you don't want to like, kind of duplicate it right again. So that's why we have variables to kind of make things more, much more easier to read. So in this case, let me go back to our formula. Okay. So this is our formula. So here we try to set a few variables here. So issue log. So basically, I just want to understand, read all the issues that I have here. Issue log dot map current dot status. So this is actually where I get all the issues uh, from the issue database. So if I just kind of remove this, right, kind of just show you how this looks like. And again, I do not go too deep into this, as you guys can just copy and paste and play around with it. And I also have a formula guide on this one, but just kind of want to show you what this means. So you can kind of see what it actually is, right? So in this case, map actually works very, very similar to uh, roll up. So let me just do this. Okay. So you can see once we have this, right? Basically, we have to roll up for all the status property here. So current or status, this is basically the same thing if you would use use to roll up here. So if I do roll up and then status, and then you can see I'm roll up the wrong property. Let's roll up the status property. And you can see exactly the same without uh, this colorful way. Uh, like colors coloring right so it's actually the same so basically this is what i'm trying to get the status roll up and then here is basically i'm trying to understand how many uh not status in it how many pending how many resolve so this is actually just a uh, regular expression they call it regex to kind of read how many not started i have pending i have and resolve i have and then i just tie it to this uh variable called not started pending and resolve and then at the end it's just a very simple uh, text uh, means that not started and then i just do style to kind of change it to ball and then not started so in this case you can see not started seven not pending three resolve three so yeah it's a fairly simple formula and then you can kind of learn about more about it uh, once you have the template so i'll leave the template in the description below so you can just uh copy it so yeah if you appreciate what i'm doing so please give a like and follow and then subscribe and we'll see you again thank you